horizon Always there, always shining Building me up with the song it's singing Filling my heart like I'm flying Always warm, always hold me The biggest part of my story Healing my soul, help me feel completion Bringing me here to my glory Bucksaw Campground is a favorite campground of ours. Bucksaw is located on Truman Lake outside of Clinton, Missouri and is only about 30 minutes from Warsaw. The park consists of the resort and marina with the RV park as well as a Corps of Engineers campground. The resort and marina is privately owned. It hosts many crappie and bass tournaments every year, some professional and some put on by different clubs and organizations. Bucksaw Marina includes a restaurant. It serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner to the hungry fishermen, campers, or just anybody that comes off the road and wants to have a bite to eat. The menu includes appetizers, salads, burgers, sandwiches, uh, breakfast till 11, so it's highly recommended if you're hungry, this is a place to stop when you're nearby. Guests of the resort can enjoy an event pavilion as well as pool house and uh, other host of activities and amenities. There are six cabins that overlook the lake. They contain two bedrooms, full kitchen, and can sleep six people. Each one also comes with a charcoal grill and fire pit. The lodge has 40 units with two double beds and lake views. The RV park has 100 full hookup sites. Nightly, weekly, monthly, and seasonal rates are available. The Corps of Engineers Campground at Bucksaw is a well-maintained campground with roomy sites and views of the lake. This is a great campsite for families. We used to bring our kids here when they were little and we would have other friends or family that would join us nearby and we would be able to take them to the playground or the beach. Everything was within walking distance. A uh, great place for the kids to ride bikes. Everything was close. The um, sites were big enough that if we had neighbors, they were not concerned about the number of kids playing in the area because we did have so much room and so did our neighbors. There are 146 campsites total. 45 have 30 amp electric, 70 sites have 50 amp electric with water, and then there are 14 full hookup sites. Bucksaw has a clean, nice beach. There are several sites that are right near the beach or it's easy to walk or drive. There are a lot of places around Bucksaw Campground to take a walk, whether it's walking through the campground or finding a little trail nearby. 
this little trail that we like to walk on goes right to the water. A lot of people like to go down and fish. Sometimes you will see people down there swimming. It's near the primitive sites and so a lot of your tent campers have perfect views of the lake which you will see here soon. These are the non-electric sites. Great for tents, small campers, if you like to boondock, perfect. These views are absolutely incredible. Sea Loop is where you're going to find your lakefront non-electric sites. Also in Sea Loop, you're going to find many of your full hookup sites. So if you're camping Sea Loop, you need to get on recreation.gov as soon as you possibly can, well in advance, to make reservations. They are so popular in the summer. Bucksaw does have a couple of nice shower houses, some flush toilets, and also let's not forget your dump station because that's pretty important, right guys? Near the campground, you will find the Bucksaw Nature Trail. We enjoy this trail. It's just a small trail that usually takes about 20 minutes, and it's kind of fun. You see a lot of wildlife and flowers in the spring, and we really like it. So Bucksaw has always been one of our favorite campgrounds. We have been, gosh, camping here since the kids were pretty young. And it was just one of our state park a lot of times. We started in a pop-up and then we moved to a regular travel trailer. And over the last few years, we had a lake house, but just because we it, it was a lot of work to own two properties and we were really missing the being able to move and go different places. So we are back um, with the travel trailer. So we're kind of excited to get back to the campgrounds again. Kids are older, married, once married, and it's it's been a lot of fun. We really enjoy being back on the in camping and to do that, we thought we would start just kind of showing you some of the great places around Warsaw to camp. We love Warsaw, Missouri. It's not our hometown, but it is 30 minutes from us. And so that is where we like to spend a lot of our time. Missouri is kind of one of those pass-through states and they will always hit the arch because it is a national park. But the problem with that is there's so many great places around Missouri that people just aren't aware of and they're quieter they they have so much nature around yeah, there's a beautiful, beautiful lands beautiful landscape so yeah we just think that you need to know that there's a lot to do around Missouri and really just right where we are in west central Missouri so we will continue to share Missouri stuff as well as any other adventures out of state that we do, so. We found a tree that had fallen right across the trail, so we had to find our way around it. It seems that there, we've had so many storms lately that everything just seems to be falling everywhere. Trees have had a rough year here. But this one looks like it was fairly recent. The leaves are still on it and everything.
This road we're walking on now is an old campground loop. It is part of the nature trail, but as you're walking along and you're looking through the trees, you will find that there are several fire rings left. These concrete barriers are part of an old parking lot. I do believe that there was probably a vault toilet here at one time. One thing we've talked about several times is it's great that Corps of Engineers will go ahead and they will let an old area grow back into what it used to be if they're not using it anymore. But we still don't understand why we're leaving the old stuff behind. So I guess someday people can walk through and discover all these old artifacts. I don't know. But if you know, please let us know. As always, thank you for joining us. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. And you cover me under your wings. You hear my voice and you know my every need. Oh, you see my hopes and dreams, but you have in store far better things. A future comes alive when you're leading me